What are, you, what are you drinking tonight? The usual. Not much seems usual about you. Dude, you won't believe what happened last night. I met this amazing girl. So much chemistry, like... <laughs> I think we're gonna go on a second date. Deep. This guy's been on fire this season with the defense, bro. Deep. Let's go! Ooh, ooh. What are you talking about, man? Hey. Yeah, my, you got 10 minutes left. I told you we'd be there at 7. Yeah, hon. I told you we'd be there. Don't get, no, no, don't, don't, don't get mad. Don't get mad. We're on our way. What's wrong? Look, I don't want to be here. Why do we always have to do what you want to do? Well, you think painting was my genius idea? Are you serious? You think <sighs> I want to sit and round and watch black and white movies all day? You're not even trying to understand what I'm trying to say. Well, I, okay, well, maybe we just don't understand each other. Maybe we don't. One of the biggest mistakes we make is that we completely confuse compatibility and chemistry. See, we struggle to find out whether we have compatibility, connection, chemistry, or a spark with someone because most of our visions of these things are brought by media, music, and movies we consume. One of the biggest pressures we make in our relationships is that we expect the one to be the only one. We want our partner to be the most philosophical discussion we have. We want them to be the most fun person in the world. We want them to be the most active and energetic and caring person in the world. We want them to be everything. But guess what? They can't be everything and neither can you. The first principle of compatibility is communication style and approach. Figure out early, even if you have a different communication style, how you want to communicate about your problems how you want to communicate about your challenges and how you want to communicate about the good things. The second principle of compatibility is personal goals. Having similar interests is important, but it's not just about liking the same things. It's about being in a similar place in life, meaning that you're looking forward and ready for the next phase together. If you've chosen to be with someone who isn't at the same stage in life, whether they're ahead or behind, you have to recognize what that takes. The third principle of compatibility is honesty and comfort in expressing oneself. If you're with someone where you can't be honest or express yourself, you're packing that all in, and you're congesting it and suppressing it internally. That's going to explode one day at one point. And sometimes we made it seem like our partner can't deal with it when actually, when we take that step and do it in the right way, things change. Sometimes it's just in our heads that we can't share it with them. When we actually do, it makes a big difference. So don't get caught up in just wanting chemistry. Don't just get caught up in wanting the spark and the joy. I'm not saying it shouldn't be there. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I'm saying that there is more to it. Chemistry is such a powerful force that many of us confuse it with compatibility. And we think that if it doesn't have chemistry, it's not going to work.